Hola amigos, here I'm at Lama Ice Cream and I just bumped into Edwin Prudente with his girls having an ice cream. Let's find out what's going on with Latin Fest this year. The first festival was in 2014. Uh, I'm out here since 2003. And for all that time, I kept, you know, toying with the idea of doing something because I, I felt that it was important to experience the culture here in the Poconos, not having to go back to New York where, where we would go for the festivals and celebrations. And then when my daughter was born in 2007, it just became more uh, of a desire to, to be able to provide that for her and for other children in the area. I felt that they uh, needed to have that exposure to, to the culture, Latin American culture. Kids from other immigrant Latin families get to learn about their parents' culture. The kids come and they've never heard some of the music, they've never seen some of the things that they see, and they enjoy it and they want to come back. Like, my girls are the biggest fans. I think the third festival, my oldest daughter, who is now 13, um, we're going over the flyer, and she says, there's something missing. What's missing? Me. I'm going to sing this year. So that year she sang for the first time at the festival. I learned about different foods and different music that I hadn't heard before and like how to do certain dances. I also like the foods and um, I like seeing the other performances as well. I like how they do the Zumba and I like to dance. It's very diverse. Uh, within uh, the different countries there are different regions and every re region has something uh, specific to that region. Food, music, dance and we try to incorporate all that in, into the festival. Edwin wanted to bring a taste of his native country that other Latin cultures share. I am from El Salvador. So in El Salvador, as most uh, of Latin American countries, food is a big part of our, our, our culture and uh, music and dance. So I wanted to bring that, bring that here. This year, there are going to be some new things. There are gonna be some uh, vendors and organizations that we haven't seen before, but you know, with the times of being the way they are, some of it is, is kind of a need. He came all the way from far away Philadelphia just to celebrate in the Poconos, <laughs> to have Latin Fest. For everybody in the Poconos, the great air, the mountains, the music, the food, what better could you ask? Latin Fest in the Poconos! This is a festival of inclusion and diversity for everyone to enjoy. All ages, all ethnicities, all backgrounds. People learn something new about Latin food and Latin restaurants in the Poconos. There is something that they didn't know that they learned that day. So different, uh, again, there are different dishes that maybe they haven't tried because they're not familiar with, uh, with the restaurants in the area. Like I had a lot of people that didn't know that we had Peruvian uh, food here in the Poconos. And some people didn't know about Lama's ice cream. As soon as they hear about Lama's ice cream, they become fans. So they tried something new that they wouldn't have tried otherwise. They're enjoying the festival. They stopped by, tried something, they liked it. And now they're trying all the different restaurants. So that's something, that's something fun. This is Cristina Luna for Poconot Television Network covering Latin Fest. Let's practice and I'll see you in Latin Fest.